Good day, YouTubers. This is me and Milo Postholes from Calgary, Alberta. Got a 12 inch auger bit here that I've slightly modified and put a trencher tooth on one edge of it. It works like a dam for popping rocks out. This is uh, an area in northwest Calgary that's uh, relatively pretty hard digging. As you'll see, we're running into some, some rock in that. This is a uh, Toro Dingo 320D, D for diesel, little skid steer. People laugh at it, there's the operator. He rides around with me all day. This is going down uh, relatively good. This machine's got an amazing amount of torque because it is a little diesel Kubota three-cylinder. But as soon as I'm getting down around the three-foot mark here, we're starting to hit boulders. So it'll be time to get out the secret weapon. A little hard sometimes that uh, tooth extruding out catches on rocks pulling it out of the out of the hole you have to uh, turn the auger a little bit but uh, it really makes a difference from the the regular factory teeth that were on there and I find doing it just on one side pops the rocks out better you can see me hitting them now And it is time for the secret weapon. There you go. This water softens the hole up enough to start moving those rocks around. Instead of giving up on the hole or getting out the big 20 pound bar and beating yourself to death. Controls on this machine are a little awkward being having to hang on while you're just using your thumb and index fingers. There's some rock in that hole there. The augers brought them up with very little problem. This is a modified frame on this machine to fit a, uh, a bobcat auger. We're just uh, approaching the four foot mark here. Now I'll be leaving out through uh, a clearance of 42 inches there. Down the side over his window well. This is uh, me and Milo Postles from Calgary, Alberta. Talk to you again.